Well, hello there, Puma. Hello, you're chasing my deer and you kind of look albino. That actually doesn't look great. Well, I guess we don't always have to start with a max level. I know here recently we've got spoiled on Call of the Wild with starting out with some max levels, but this time around, no such luck. We did see, oh, we do have a mule deer over there. That's what we're mainly out after currently is hoping to find some mule deer. We have that one there, but we took that level four bighorn. We'll go pick him up, see what he scored. And then we're gonna go chase some mule deer. Now, I believe this goes without saying. We're on Silver Ridge Peaks. Got this guy with a single lung. And just touch back from the heart, but not a bad shot. 147.55 bronze fur type. That's the type I want to get if I get another diamond. Is that bronze? Super cool color. Just haven't gotten one yet, I don't believe. So, Silver Ridge Peaks. We still need a beautiful gold rare mule deer. Uh, all, all the mule deer I've seen have always been dilute, never been albino, melanistic, or highballed. And I've killed a lot of mule deer. It's a little, a little sad. Hopefully today we'll turn that luck around. That's a very spiky rack on that guy. Level three, about 200 meters out. Let's just go ahead and... Put one a little high. Not flinched my shot up, but let's see what that guy looked like. He also looked like he had uh, something going on with his forehead, but I could be could just be imagining that he's a piebald. I, I don't know. Even with the slightly high shot, he didn't go far at all, and got some weird gray stuff going on on his fur. That's why he threw me off. It's a neat rack. That massive sticker coming off. It's kind of cool. He is a bl blonde. He just shadows, lights, highlights, however that was. It's a little weird. It looked, made him look like a mature buck, the gray. But by the way, that is, that is an impressive rack. I like that rack a lot. Holy cow. Nothing would hurt. That would hurt to get ran into. That's a good looking buck. Well... Sometimes you just don't find what you're looking for, but you find something good. That's a really good looking level five, big horn. Man, he's good looking. I don't know though what he's gonna score. I don't, I don't know how big he's gonna get for me. I'm just kind of watching everything else. A black bear charging me, okay? Excuse me, don't wanna bother you. I just want to see what else we have before I go spoken it all off. And I'm going to have to go a 300 meter shot, maybe. It's going to be a pretty interesting shot. That tree wants to mess me up. There we go. Yep. 300 meters it is. Oh, why are you turning? Come on. Stop walking. Stop it. Stop right there. He is kind of looking small. Still should be diamond though. Come on. Stop walking. Stop walking. Should stop right about now. Come on. Come on. Stop right there. Stop right there. Don't turn towards me. There we go. Looking towards me. Ooh. Let him pick his head up. And we'll just sink it right in the lung. Put him down. Ooh. That was close. It was a little hard at that angle, but you know, we can get it done. And like I said, I'm hunting the bronze. I don't think this guy was bronze, but is he? he no, he's brown. He is diamond. 167.24. A little bit further back than I thought. I thought we were aiming there, but it's okay. Come down, left lung, 167.24 on a score, 
on the weight, 281 meters. That's a good, good diamond to get. I'll take a diamond bighorn every time. They just look so cool. I, lo I love bighorn sheep. So stinking cool. Unfortunately, point gap is going to keep me from ever hunting bighorn sheep in Colorado. So I might have to eventually fork out tens of thousands of dollars and go to Canada or Alaska for that one. Well, hello there, Puma. Hello, you're chasing my deer and you kind of look albino. That actually doesn't look great. Was that actually albino? I just have gotten so used to seeing gray that that almost looked albino. I don't think it was, but almost, almost did, is it? No, I think, I think that's gray. Pretty sure it's gray. It is gray. What gold albino if we'd got it. First shot, really bad. Second shot, great follow-up. Labor, double lung, great. Too bad it wasn't albino. I really had a thought there for a second because of how the light was on. That's an albino. You chased off all my deer over here, but it's okay. I didn't see anything good. I just was hoping he was albino. Well, there we go. That's an actually decent estimate for level four. Not sure we'll get that top end of that estimate. Yeah, I, I mean, he could do it. Oh, he's attentive. We better hurry up. Excuse me? No. No. Oh, he started to go down. I'm sorry, what? Oh, he moved. Terrible move. Terrible. I, I don't know what's happening, but here recently I've been getting some blanks fired. I'm not liking it. We saw it on the Cape Buffalo, the albino I got when we were in Verhunga. And now this guy, and I'm not a fan. Gotta be honest, not a fan of seeing that happen. So hopefully that gets addressed, because that's, that's gonna be unfortunate if that was a diamond, because we messed it up. Oh, I'm really curious where we hit. It says no organs hit. Not even non-vital. I don't know. I don't know about you, but we shot from there. Yeah. Should have been a good hit, but not sure what happened. So we'll just track him down. Pick him up. Find out what went wrong. We didn't shoot a blank on the first one. We'd be all right. Well, he's right up here. Moment of truth on what we just had happen i have a feeling if anything we hit a little low let's see the antlers i mean now he's not going to be diamond anyways moving gold and that's why that is not what i saw but that is not what i saw at all when we took that shot we're gonna have to go back and rewatch that because i'm pretty sure he was standing perfectly broadside when i took that shot <laughs> Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. That's okay. He wasn't going to be a diamond anyways. So that's all right. Now, I can't remember if we made it up to this lake or not yet, but this is one of my more favorite lakes. And we've got this guy here. He's a diamond potential. Has kind of the rack for it. I don't think he's going to be diamond. And over here, another big level four as well. That guy definitely is not diamond. But diamond potential. So two at this lake we could take out and some turkeys. I didn't even see those. I wonder what else is with them. That's just two hens. Is there any Jakes or Toms? Ooh, there is a Tom. Good chance he spooks though when we shoot at this guy. How we're gonna shoot at this guy is gonna be interesting. I think we're gonna have to break out the collar and get him to move for us because that doe is just blocking our shot. Let's see if we can make this work. Well, the collar wasn't working, but it just kept sliding over too. And I think we're in a good spot for this. Oh yeah, that's a great spot. Little over 150. 
Got him there. Got some stuff from him. Bye. Ooh, that's a mountain lion. Looks like a gray mountain lion. I missed it. I don't know where I went. Let's see about our other level four. We went alert because of the shot. Now he's turned around. Oh, that was just a bad shot. And not a good follow up. But we got in. We actually got into a lung. How about that? I didn't think we were going to get in on that shot. That was, that was good to see. I'm pretty sure that mountain lion came from over there. So those turkeys are definitely gone. That's two big level four mule deer down. Still no rares. But we're seeing big animals. That's good, I guess. Oh, just really hoping to see a rare. I mean, I'll take a rare doe at this point for mule deer. I just don't see them. And I see a lot of mule deer. This is the one guy I was thinking might do diamond now we're closer looking at him definitely not gonna do it he doesn't have the rack for it He's missing a lot of mass but neat rack got him with the double lung oh um yeah should have clipped the heart i think but that's okay good looking mule deer yes still no rare still Oh, rare. Let's go pick up the other one. See what we can find out about him. We know he's not diamond, though. This guy had a better chance. That guy definitely doesn't have a chance. Actually, found our Tom. Let me see. We can't bring a shot up there at him and get him. I don't think that connected. We lost sight of him. Went behind that tree. Oh, there he is. Is he coming this way? coming this way He's gonna land right there oh that's even better Ooh, just a little too high excuse me there we go there we go hey we got him all right <laughs> i mean if he's gonna fly down the mountain towards us that's way better luck than i've been having this season i haven't even seen or heard anything other than when i'm sitting at my work on lunch break i can hear him in the mountains but go out during the weekends can't find them can't hear them don't see any track nothing so at least seeing them in the game is something i guess here's the other mule deer though with some kickers just a gnarly little rack 285 basically the same score and we ran into the water let's accept that and try to get out of the water nope just gonna keep running into the water that's okay <laughs> all right now for the turkey grab him and run over to the other lake up here on the northwest hopefully we find something good at that lake before that lake let's see did we get lucky get a level two diamond long beard i don't think so 4.49 hitting with twice well we did hit him the first time 352 meters and we hit him on that shot just barely clipping him but it was enough he would have gone down wow that was a that was a long shot for a little 22. Let's go. Let's go. Troll potential. But. That's a level 5. And I'm happy. I, I be honest with you guys. I killed an albino uh, Rocky Mountain Elk cow recently. Uh while recording i actually had the recording pause so i don't have it but I have a screenshot here you go of that beautiful cow elk and went along doing all this stuff and didn't realize i was paused wrapped up the video went to edit and yeah we were missing a lot so <laughs> coming back going after mule deer and we find that guy first good one i've found so far and He's at Sneffels Outpost. It's pretty good. I like it. I'm glad we found this guy. Glad we came back. I will always take a diamond mule deer. This guy does it. That is awesome. That would be awesome. I like the way he's looking. Oh, man. I was wanting him to stay looking like that. Should be a diamond. I don't think he's going to troll. And we'll just go ahead and do it. I was going to try and wait and see if he'd put his head to the side again like that. Just for a cool screenshot. But that's okay. We don't need to worry about that. Bunch of other ones coming out of the woodworks. Sadly, no rares. No rare mule deer 
Like I said, we got that albino Rocky Mountain elk. That was pretty cool. I didn't expect to find her. I'm hoping that they add multi mounts with cows and bulls for Rocky Mountain elk and rosies as well. I think it would just be really cool to have those. They're pretty big animals and it, it kind of sucks. We can't do a multi mount with all the species anyways. So hopefully we get those soon. But here's our level five mule deer. Let's see. What is he? Oh, he might troll. He's got the stickers. He's got the stickers. He might. Oh, good. 316 on the nose. Oh, he did get him with his head turned. That is perfect. Tag him real quick. We don't miss out on a on him. If something happens, but check that guy out. That is stinking cool. I like those stickers, man. That's just cool. That's that is so stinking cool. I like that rack. What a great looking mule deer right there. Love him. Man, I love mule deer. Love, love, love mule deer in this game. I was really hoping to find a rare soon. Secretly, I'm hoping that my super rare, my first ever super rare, will be a mule deer. Because mule deer was my first diamond. I love mule deer and Rocky Mountain Elk. That's why we're on SRP so much. I just hope that my first super rare that I ever stumble across is a mule deer. But, thank you to my members. You guys are supporting me and the channels, helping it grow, supporting us financially. Really do appreciate it. If you want to become a member, check the link down in the description below. And of course, last but not least, go enjoy a good home with a good friend. I'll catch you in the next one.